Hi guys, today I'm going to be giving you a review on the iPod Touch 4th generation. This is the generation with the front camera on the top for FaceTime and on the back for normal um, video recording and video recording and taking photos. This cam the camera is a 1 megapixel photo camera and records in 720 pixels which I believe on YouTube is HD. So yeah, as you can see, here's just the normal um, slide to unlock like on all the others 116 Saturday 6th November time in Britain so far so yeah uh, as you can see here is the normal um, page FaceTime and the camera is new for this um, iPod obviously um, the camera as you can see at the moment there you go um, this at the moment is on video recording um, as you can see this is the back camera pointing to my uh, laptop cable for the battery and flip over and you can see me so yeah and back to the back uh, just slide down there to swap from between both camera and video and this button here the little camera on it and when taking videos it's a red circle to record video just click down here to view your photos as you can see at the moment here's a photo of the lego halo pelican i've been working on um so yeah this different at the moment but anyway I've updated it so yeah um, so it's got the basic count uh, the best the basic s stuff like camera uh, FaceTime calendar photos weather maps stock YouTube notes utilities iTunes App Store settings and gamer center um, it still uses Wi-Fi it doesn't have an internet connection of its own which um, with the Wi-Fi it does have its ups and downs ups being it's usually a lot faster the internet if it, than if it had its own. So yeah. Um, second page, there's also contacts. I've added my own apps on. Um, Messenger, Facebook, Talking Kyle, Paper Toss, Pac-Man, COD Zombies, Tank Wars, and Need for Speed. So yeah. The calendar is basic. It looks the same. Looks like the same as they used for the first, and second, and third generation. So yeah. The music. Um, is awesome as you can see here I've got a list of my albums list of songs you can choose from the artists and playlists and more which is <coughs> like podcasts and stuff I usually use albums because I just think that's smarter and if you just turn it on the side you get this awesome screen this screen you can also view on the iTunes 10 is the new software this thing uses for iTunes so yeah that's cool just to give you a just to give you a brief um, glance of how how well the speakers work I'll just choose a song it's how it's the speakers on max sound here we go Turn around and when you're playing the song it goes into this. So yeah, that was uh, Dead Man's Gun from the Red Dead Redemption original soundtrack. So yeah, if you want me to, um, it will. Nah, no, forget it. Alright, so all the songs I've got. So the speakers are pretty loud. Um, just to demonstrate with Umbrella Beach and uh, Al City. Yeah pretty good quality because considering that is a loud song so yeah that's it really um the games i have so far i will um the quality of the resolution and things are really good show you a quick thing of pac-man yeah so yeah and cod zombies at the moment I've paused my game because yeah um, there's not much happening at the moment on that I think my level 10 tank wars is simple need for speed is simple and paper toss I'm sure you all know that from back quick if you want me to review any of these games just comment in this just comment in the dis uh, com commenting area thing and I'll do a review on them so yeah that's it really the iPod touch fourth generation um, the internet's same as 
the third, third, second, and first generation. So yeah, um, overall I give this iPod, I give iPod Touch a fourth, um, nine out of ten. The one mark, no, the one mark loses the battery because it does die really quickly. So that's the only downside to it. Otherwise, the rest, the rest is awesome and I highly recommend you getting this if you haven't got an iPod Touch. If you've already got the third generation and you're thinking of swapping, um, I would say swap, but the highest, the, the, the price for the 8 gig, which is what I've got, was unbelievable. It's something like 199 and I think it's 234 for the 32 gig, so yeah, that's another downside of the price, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.